Hey, good afternoon. My name's uh, Dan Thaggard. I'm the Director of Site Reliability and Core Engineering at Magic Leap. Um, my team's mission at Magic Leap is to provide technology solutions and services to the rest of the organization to enable people to do and perform their best work. Uh, we're a globally distributed team. We provide 24-7, 365 support to our customers. And one of the challenges that we face as being a global team is, well, apart from daylight savings and realizing that New Zealand actually goes the opposite direction than the US when the time changes, um, is to kind of maintain a sense of team and uh, maintain a sense of, of community and team building. So uh, last year, we were casting around for ideas for how can we uh, do a team building exercise. And we landed on the idea of, hey, why don't we build an app for Magic Leap One? Now, I got to preface this by saying that none of us are 3D application developers. We're, we're not modelers or graphics artists or game designers whatsoever. Um, but we are SREs, and we know how to build and run infrastructure and run it reliably at scale. So we said, hey, wouldn't it be really cool if we can take the infrastructure that we do and work with day to day and be able to visualize it using spatial computing um, to be able to actually see all the nodes and show the dependencies and everything uh, that we're working on. So that's what we decided to do. That was our challenge. We wanted to, in 24 hours, be able to build uh, and visualize using Terraform our infrastructure and spatial computing. And that's what we did. So 24 hours later, well, about 30 hours actually, but uh, in a day we were able to, uh, with no help, no outside help, no documentation, um, just using what our customers see, we were able to build on device, uh, having no previous Unity experience, and no previous Unreal or anything like that. And uh, it was really empowering and, and joyful experience. Like, I can't describe how happy I was the first time I saw this like, sea of leapers uh, appear on stage uh, in, in 3D in front of me. Uh, it was like, kind of like my first Hello World all over again. One of the challenges that we faced uh, with this was um, not having any outside help. We had to kind of dig within the team and, and leverage each other and really work, work together as a team. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over to Anthony right now. Um, he's gonna talk through some of the technical chill challenges that we face as a team as we we're trying to build out uh, infrastructure using mixed reality. Thanks, Dan. My name is Anthony Lucillo. I'm a site reliability engineer at Magic Leap and the technical lead of Nebula. We built this experience using Unity and C Sharp. For the multiplayer element, we are using Photon, which handles the user and room management, as well as synchronization of object data, like position, rotation, scale, even custom metadata that we're able, we're able to send. Using Terraform and a CI-CD pipeline, we deployed the necessary backend components, Google, Cl Google Cloud Functions and Google Cloud Storage. This allowed us to pull Terraform state data, which we then parse and visualize in mixed reality. There is so much more that you can do than simply reading a Terraform state file. Imagine. You could make changes in real time with Terraform in mixed reality, query near live metadata to facilitate tasks like architecture reviews, cost analysis, and system health monitoring. You could even customize your war rooms with dashboards, comms channels, and whatever other um, useful information you could fill the room with. And because this is collaborative, you would all see the exact same thing in that war room. In my opinion, the most important part of this experience is making sure that everyone sees the same thing in the same place. Which brings us to the most complex and interesting problem that we faced. How do you make sure that every user in the same experience sees the same thing. Each device is independent. Therefore, how can multiple users in the same experience know everyone else's position and orientation? 
Where is the origin? There are a few solutions to this problem. Our experience solves this using image tracking. The Magic Leap image tracking system uses the camera to detect two dimensional planar images from a custom defined target set and continuously tracks and updates its location and orientation as users move around in the real world. This image, therefore, becomes a point of reference, a way for everyone to agree on an orientation and an origin for the room. Now that we're through the technical details, let's watch a quick video of Nebula. Here we're in the oh, it's over. Okay. Okay, we're choosing a room. We've got a couple Terraform architectures to choose from. You can drag it out and into the room and manipulate their position. The red indicators you see are what other users in the same experience are looking at. And as you can see, other users are also able to move objects at the same time. And you're able to even try to steal it from them. And you can also move up to it and interact with it because it's out there in the real world. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Big round of applause, please, for the team at Magic Leap.